Okay, so I think I might have figured out my orange peel issue. Uh, my fault, not the paint's fault, not the gun's fault. Uh, I'll tell you what it is. The uh, I'd been I rewatched the paint education, uh, paint your car video uh, last night, and he basically boiled it down. You know, like I had all these adjustments on the gun, and I was all trying them all, and I wasn't getting anywhere. And I realized, or he pointed out that you really don't need to play around with uh, with any of them, you know, like other than the paint flow. So I said, well, what other than the paint flow is it? Because there's the fan, there's paint flow, and there's air volume. And uh, he said, open the air volume up all the time unless you're doing detail work. You don't need to do it and have it anything else. Open your fan wide open unless you're doing, once again, I guess, detail work. Uh, so the only other thing that I had left to adjust was paint flow, and paint flow wasn't working for me. I said, well, there's got to be one other one. And then I realized air pressure. And that's when I said, oh, what am I doing? You know, I, I set it to what the tip on the gun said. And, uh, you know, how could I go wrong? You know, because the gun says, I'll show you the gun. Gun says 10 PSI max. And, uh... I set it to that. I thought, well, that's awfully low, but, you know, whatever. And it never occurred to me when I saw max 35 PSI on this thing that uh, that really meant anything. And uh, did a little searching around this morning and uh, found out that the recommended pressure at the gun, not at the tip, was 29 PSI. Well, the most I ever cranked that thing up to in any of the time I was playing around was probably about 15 PSI. So uh, I wasn't going anywhere near what it was supposed to be. I probably wasn't atomizing the paint correctly, and uh, everything was just going all to hell in a handbasket because no matter what, I was always having more paint flow than airflow, so I was always going to get orange peel. So what I'm going to do was uh, Messy Laura had recommended that uh, maybe I pull the fenders off the truck and shoot them individually. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I've got a big uh, steel sheet here now. It's not primed or, or based or anything like that, but I think I should be able to shoot it and get some idea of whether or not I'm getting orange peel. I've got just sitting right here, this piece of uh, sheet metal. It's a little rusty and all, but it's not like I'm trying to do anything special with it. I think I just zoomed on this thing. Yeah, it's in the wrong place. You move the camera around, you bump it. Anyways, I'm going to uh, try just doing a, a couple of shoots of that, varying the uh, the pressure, and uh, if that works, I'm going to go and grab a uh, spare body panel that probably has primer on it but not paint, and uh, and maybe try that as well. If it goes really well, I might just go and just try and do the truck directly, but well, I'm going to be cautious about it because I don't want to go through another month of color sanding. Because if I go through another month of color sanding. I'm running into cold enough weather that there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to shoot any more clear on this thing. So, anyways, I will get to it. We'll see how things go. Okay, I've been doing some test shots here. And this stuff is still, this hasn't even hit the, the cure uh, interval here. But uh, I did some various dial settings for, uh, for it. And I found that with anything less than about... I think it was about uh, anything less than three turns, I'd, my fan seemed to be really narrow. So I assumed that that meant it was kind of starving for, uh, for paint. And I think I'd come up with, well, let's see if I can hit it right. That's three and three quarter, I think, that you're seeing right there. And that seems to be, you know, like it's really hard to tell. This is actually a poor choice of a thing to use. There's still a slight orange peel to it, but it doesn't look too bad, I think. So, I'm going to... I haven't decided if I'm going to go and grab another panel, like a real panel, or not. But I don't have any panels that are... that have a... that are based. So, I don't know that it'd be any better a test than this. So, oh, that thing blurred all to hell. Anyways, uh, I'm going to give it some thought and decide if I want to try and shoot this thing right now. So, next shot may be of it in, in clear, but may not. Okay, there we are. We're in clear. Three coats. Uh, I think it's better than the first time I did it, 
but not as good as I could have hoped. It's better in the hood as well. Um, fairly good uh, um, reflectivity on the camera going out of focus. Maybe that's a good thing. Um, I know I'm going to have to uh, color sand this. Hopefully you can hear me over the whistle of my uh, uh, respirator. But uh, but uh, once again, this side, for some reason, I have problems with this side. The door looks a little bit off, but I don't think it's anything that won't color sand out. Um, it's not too bad. Orange peel, but like I said, not nearly as bad as uh, that first try. I still am not 100% on what I'm doing wrong. Weird. Kind of looks flat from this direction, but it's there's got you know, luster to it. As you can see me in my paint suit. And uh, now we'll we'll leave it off. You know, like uh, this stuff does seem to level a little bit as it dries. I've noticed because the hood did look a little bit better after it'd been sitting for a while. Um, I'm hot as hell. Nowhere near as hot as in places like Florida, but. I'm still hot. It's like, uh, where's my gauge here? I bought a new gauge today. It's, uh, what, about 25 Celsius, which is probably about 80 and 60% uh, humidity. I gotta do some cleanup in my shop. That's a tow bar. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's it for today. I just thought I'd follow up and say uh, thanks to everybody who's offered any and all help. Uh, thanks dogs for barking while I'm trying to talk. Um, I have no idea why. Uh, you guys have uh, helped a lot uh, in things here. Uh, next step is probably going to be doing some color sanding on it again, but I hopefully it's not going to take anywhere near as long as the last set and I'm not going to burn through this time. Once that's done, what, the transmission? Some bits of the uh, new front bumper for it. I want to do the uh, the uh, uh, what the uh, grill surround, and then that's probably all the painting that's going to get done this year. And then probably what I'm going to try and do is work on this. It's been sitting for quite a few months now. Uh, drained all the fuel out of it. Uh, I'm going to try that uh, last ditch effort to. Uh, to unstick the uh, six bad injectors and see if that uh, has a lasting solution. If it does, it saves me a grand. If not, well, so I'll be dropping a grand in October. Oh, and hopefully this thing will be registered for the road before the end of this year, because that thing is just getting worse and worse and worse. Anyways, thanks for uh, watching, guys.